Well, the potential is obviously you know, to bring a precision approach capability, whether it's technically a precision approach or not, to bring a precision approach capability to nearly every runway in the country. That is the ultimate goal, I think, of, of the designers of WAS and even the FAA for that matter. Uh, you know, like we talked about uh, in the seminar today, over 5,000 runway ins in this country qualify for a WAS sort of an approach. And uh, I think uh, in time, the goal is going to be to make the non-precision, traditional non-precision approach a thing of the past. The ground-based navigation aids uh, more, more of a relic than the norm. The beauty is that even those approaches which are not WAS have a component to them that WAS can be used to help simplify. WAS really filters and infiltrates every part of IFR flying whether it be the approach, seg the approach uh, segment, the terminal segment, or the in route segment. There's really very little from a procedural uh, standpoint to WAS that is not related to nearly every other type of IFR flying. I even had a few comments uh, today specifically from people telling me that they use the WAS traditionally on a VFR day doing a VFR approach into a runway. They like to bring the WAS up so that they get that glide slope reference coming into an airport that they may not be familiar with even if the weather's great. So there's a lot more that is WAS than isn't WAS. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.